Have you been blessed? Can we appreciate the Lord? Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Two things we are going to do. First of all, you stand to your feet and we thank God for what we've heard. And the second one, because something has happened in you today, you're going to roar like a lion. Amen. Because your dominion has been restored. You're going to roar like a lion in the jungle of life. And watch things fall off from you in the name of Jesus. First of all, Father, thank you for your sending your word. Let that be your prayer. Father, thank you for sending your word. Thank you for sending your word. Thank you for restoring my glory. Thank you for restoring dominion. Akabelosa. Thank you for sending your word. He sent his word and healed them. The word delivered them from their destructions. You will no longer be destroyed because the eyes of your understanding have been opened. Thank you, Father, for sending uh, your word. Zekaleza. Are you praying? Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I receive that word with meekness. I believe that word. I agree with that word. In Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Now you're going to roar like a lion. You know, the lion, they say the lion, when it roars, every beast, every animal in the forest, no matter how big, they stand at attention. Many things will stop today. Many oppressions will come to an end here today. In the name of Jesus. Now the next prayer point you are going to declare. Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every oppressor. Now begin to pray. Kapatea. Roar that prayer. Ale kapatea. Whatever, whoever is an oppressor in the spirits, in my soul, in my body, in my sleep, in my finances, in my destiny, in my health, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed, be destroyed. You need to roar like a lion. Every oppressor, be destroyed, be oppressed. Akita le kapata. You are no longer my master. I am no longer under your authority. Masha keteleke. Erabasika laba. Invisible oppressors. Unknown oppressors. Spiritual oppressors. Akepatelekete. Ayoseke bayata. Are you praying? Oppressors of the morning. Oppressors of the noonday, oppressors of the evening, oppressors of the night, generational oppressors, ancestral oppressors, financial oppressors, kapakateleke, whatever that is sitting on my glory, masha kapateleketeya, I roar against you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mata kapatele is someone praying kapaleke ayo si kapa is someone praying eya salabake kataleke potoke ayo koseke every oppressor be destroyed akapataya azolete kenta pateke everything oppressing my destiny everything limiting my life whatever and wherever you are whatever is the origin i exercise dominion with my words in the authority of the name of jesus oppressors be destroyed oppressors can your lord and go you need to roar over your finance 
over your marriage, over your destiny, over your children, over your spouse, over the works of your hands, over your career, oppressors hiding in the future, oppressors in the close places, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Ayakale Matea, Shadebo Kotozia, Ekale Shata. Somebody you need to pray. Asseketeke Po, Azalekeya. Oppressors that destroyed those that went ahead of me. Oppressors that limited those that went ahead of me. What are you waiting for? Oppressors that cause delay. Oppressors that bring limitation. Oppressors that bring stagnation. Oppressors that bring confusion. Ah, keteke patele. Today, not tomorrow. Even now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be destroyed, be destroyed. Akunda, Akunda, Akunda. Something is happening. Someone you need to press in is a warfare. Roar like the lion of Judah. Roar, don't turn away from any. Roar, don't be afraid. Roar. Kabalekeya. Shadabakaya. Aseketeleke, Raka Pate. I am not going home the same. The oppressions of the oppressed, they have come to an end. Oppressors be destroyed. Destroyers be destroyed. Kalabataya, Kapateke, Ashalabande, Aseketele. This is Mount Zion. Upon Mount Zion there is deliverance. Upon Mount Zion there is holiness. Chains are being broken. Invisible limitations are shattered. Eyes are being opened. A kapateke. A shalabaya. Pray, declare, roar. You're praying with revelation. You're praying with understanding. Good understanding procures favor. You have the favor of the Lord. This is the day of somebody's favor. Akapatea. Azabale Kayebakate. Oppressors oppressing my children. Oppressors oppressing my spouse. Oppressors that don't want me to break through. That don't want me to get married. Invisible, heavenly, spiritual. Oppressors from water bodies. Oppressors from evil altars. Oppressors of the powers of the air. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Something is happening. Oppressors in my future. Oppressors in my tomorrow. Oppressors laying siege. Ah, Kapateya. I roar and release the fire of God. Wherever you are hiding, wherever you are located, in my body, in my destiny, in my future, in my present, in my past, be destroyed. Ah, Shadabaya. Ayotoya. Life is a jungle. Don't fight fair. Roar like a lion. Masalabaya.
oppressions that bring evil patterns oppression that bring patterns of limitation oppressions from my father's house from my mother's house from strange lineages Few seconds left, roar, roar like a lion, roar in the spirit, let your voice be heard by the voice of the Lord. The Assyrians will be put into subjection. Locate them in the future. Locate them with your prayers. Oppressors hiding in the future. Traps of oppression. Traps of limitation. In my tomorrow, in my future, I locate you with my prayer. I destroy you with my prayer. Kabbalah satire. In the future of my children. In the future of my career. In the future of my marriage. In the future of my ministry, in the future of businesses, in the future of this church, in Jesus' mighty name, we are still praying. Lord has asked me not to pray over us after these prayers because whatever you pray for is what you go from this service. You go with from this service in Jesus' name. The second prayer point and then we'll round up. We are going to pray against deceiver. Satan is a master deceiver. It was by deceit he got Adam. He didn't go to Adam directly. He went through the woman Eve and deceived her. That's why the Bible says the woman being deceived Adam was not deceived. Deception is his primary weapon and when he deceives you look at the result in 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 19 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 19 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 19 while he promises you liberty promises you the soft life. Let's do it fast, fast. He himself is a servant of corruption, servant of decay. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same he is brought into bondage. How does he, Satan overcome us by deception? So he overcomes us by deception to bring us into bondage. Poverty, confusion, suicidal thoughts emptiness depression barrenness those are the prisons and the pits of Satan somebody is coming out today look at Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 we are going to pray against deception what the Holy Spirit ministered to me is that after this prayer because how God delivers us is that he opens our eyes. You start seeing life, issues, and things differently. That's what is going to happen. You now start seeing where he has been taking advantage of you, of your ignorance. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt with flatteries. 
So he keeps telling you, don't mind them. What are they preaching? Don't mind them. What is he saying? Flattering you. No, nothing has happened. Maybe you've been living like this now. Have you died since? They have been talking of heaven. Have you, has heaven, has Jesus come? Corrupt you with flatteries. That is another way of deception manifest. Is deception manifest. Flattering you. Ah, you're doing well. No, don't mind them. Take it easy. Leave pastor. Leave all these men. Collecting people's money. Flattery. But the people that know their God, they shall be strong. And they shall do exploits. You're going to pray. This second prayer point, you will pray louder than the first. Satan's number one preference and master strategy is to deceive us. You're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, every trap of deception in my life expose and destroy. Now begin to pray. Kapadekete. Father, in the name of Jesus, every trap of deception, every snare of deception of Satan to keep me as his slave, to keep me in bondage, to cause me not to exercise my dominion, to leak away my glory, every deception that I'm excusing, in the name of Jesus, expose and destroy expose and destroy expose and destroy expose and destroy are you praying Kapakete. expose and destroy expose and destroy every trap of the devil every snare of deception every trap of deception Traps that look like breakthroughs. Expose and destroy. Traps that look like a good life. Expose and destroy. Cancels that are traps to destroy me. Expose and destroy. I wish you can see what I'm seeing. Pray this prayer.
in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and received things will happen this week please take note of your dreams and when people start acting unusual around you things will happen this week be it unto you according to your faith as you have prayed and believed, the Lord will exceed your expectations. In Jesus' mighty name.